what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here uh so news broke a few days ago or yesterday or, or the day before yesterday that tommy doyle had been recasted or they found the, pro the producers and the filmmakers behind halloween kills and halloween ends and last year's halloween 2018 film they have found the new actor that will portray tommy doyle all grown up 40 something years later back in Haddonfield and Anthony Michael Hall the gentleman that you see on the screen now is the person ha that has been casted to portray Tommy Doyle in Halloween Kills and possibly Halloween Ends but as far as I know right now he's just going to be in Halloween Kills but this is the actor that was chosen to portray Tommy Doyle if, for those of you who are familiar you know Tommy Doyle was the little boy that that Lori babysat in the original film on the night that Michael Myers originally broke out of Smith's Grove and went back to Haddonfield um uh, this casting is a lot more acceptable to me versus bringing in Paul Rudd, which I heard they tried to do that. So even despite the fact that what and even whether or not that report was actually something that occurred or not, that was never confirmed by, of course, by Blumhouse. Anyone from Blumhouse never confirmed that. I don't think Paul, Paul Rudd ne never confirmed that. So whether or not that actually even happened, whether Paul Rudd was made an offer or not, if he was indeed for a fact made an offer, I think that was a big mistake on the filmmakers. And I understand, yes, bringing in Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd for name notoriety, but the character of Tommy Doyle himself, the, the character's name is enough to just spark interest. You don't need to bring in Paul Rudd to reprise the character for more recognition. But I can understand possibly what they were trying to do if that's what the whole intent behind it was. Paul Rudd to me just never really looked like a Tommy Doyle that you would expect to see versus how he appeared in the 1978 film. However, this gentleman right here, Anthony Michael Hall, if you told me this was Tommy Doyle all grown up many years later, this is more believable than Paul Rudd. And this has nothing to do with like just like not, not having to suspend my disbelief there's just certain things that that just don't work they just don't look right they don't feel like proper casting and paul rudd being cast as tommy doyle in halloween 6 and even then hearing about him being recasted now just did not feel right you need to bring in somebody who actually resembles the brian andrews actor or somebody who could be acceptable to live up to how this young boy looked back in 1978 and i think anthony michael hall is a better selection than paul rudd but i'm looking forward to see what he does paul rudd or not paul rudd anthony michael hall i'm familiar with his work in edward scissorhands and i think he was also in 16 candles he's a great actor for his time and i believe he was also a young child actress or a young child actor he was in a few films as a small child he, i think he was in a few national lampoon films but i'm looking forward to see what he offers and how him and Lori stroll jamie lee curtis have chemistry on screen what their dynamic will be how is he going to offer what is he going to offer to the narrative i'm still waiting to hear confirmation and in, in regards to whether or not sheriff bracket will be back but i think it's safe to assume that maybe he will be since this report about tommy doyle's character at least returning turned out to be true uh so maybe perhaps sheriff bracket is coming back if he is coming back i would like to see him portrayed by the same actor if he is available but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below what do you think about the casting of tommy doyle what do you expect from tommy doyle and halloween kills if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video also guys Stay tuned, and if you really, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our post notifications because I know that a few people who have been subscribed to my channel for a while you might have been looking forward to my midsummer review. I held off on that because of the director's cut that was coming. That's coming this weekend. Um, I'm going to see the director's cut this weekend, and then I'm going to have my review up on the channel. So subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss that.